One of the most popular uses for views is to create slideshows. And while views itself can't do that, views slideshow module sure can. So we're going to create a very simple slideshow block like the one you're seeing on the screen now using views, the views slideshow module, and all the other supporting modules that go along with it. So the first thing we have to do is add a couple of modules. I like to get my modules from drupalmodules.com. It's just really quick. So you're going to look for so you're going to look for views slideshow and again just right click copy link location. Go ahead and install that module. All right, once you've installed that module, you're also going to need the libraries module. So go ahead and grab libraries API and install that as well. You do need the link module to make this work. Uh, we've already installed that. And you need the token module. We've already installed that. So once you've got the Libraries API module and the View Slideshow module installed, we're ready to get started. Make sure you enable Libraries first, and then you'll be able to enable the View Slideshow, View Slideshow Cycle, and we'll be set to go. Once you have all of that enabled, head over to Structure, Views, and let's add a new view. Let's just call this our movie slideshow. I'm going to create a block here. We're going to keep it pretty simple. The content of type movies. Let's create a block. And you'll notice in the display format we have a new option called slideshow. Go ahead and select that one and we'll leave it at five items per page. Continue and edit. Now there's not a lot we need to do here. We just need to add the right fields and set up the slideshow the way we want. Let's go ahead and delete the title field and let's add the poster field. Let's not have a label and let's leave it at the original size and let's link to the content. Go ahead and click apply all displays. And so you'll notice our first poster down there. We can leave the sort criteria on, really doesn't matter at this point. If we wanted to make this random every time somebody loaded the page, we could take the sort criteria off, but we'll leave it there for now. Not a problem. The only other thing we have to do is choose our settings in Slideshow. We'll leave it as an unordered list. There's a wrapper class built in for us. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that Cycle Options for You has an error message here there is a JavaScript library that we need to go and get. So let's follow those instructions carefully. Firstly, go over to mouseup.com slash jQuery slash cycle. And here are all the options that you can have for your various slideshows. Lots of fun. But we need to get the plugin. So click on download the cycle plugin and grab cycle plugin copy all of this content and using an FTP program go over to your website inside your Drupal root you'll see sites all and you should see two folders a modules and a themes folder go ahead and create a new folder called libraries once you've created that inside the libraries folder create another new folder called jQuery.cycle Inside that folder, create the file name jQuery.cycle.all.min.js and paste the code that you copied from the website. So again, sites, all, libraries, jQuery.cycle, and the file name is jQuery.cycle.all dot min dot js. Once you have that inside your sites folder and that error message should go away. If it doesn't, not a worry, click apply all displays and save your view and come back into this and that will be updated. Notice we have a number of different transition effects here, lots of them. We're just going to leave it at the fade. I'm going to click apply all displays. And really, that's all I need to do at this point. So click Save. 
and now go back to structure, blocks, scroll all the way down, and my view movie slideshow is here. I'm going to put it in the right sidebar again and save the blocks. I'm going to move it to the top just so it's at the top of our right sidebar and click Save Blocks again and go home. And now you see we have a movie slideshow that fades between the posters of our first five movies that it chooses. Slideshow can be used anywhere in a Drupal site. It can be used for big, big slideshows like normal headers type slideshows or very, very easily can take any field out of any content type and make a slideshow out of it. We could have added the title, a brief intro to the movie, anything we wanted here in this slideshow and views would generate that for us. It's really powerful, really cool.